If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break Studio. UltimateAutographs.com, UA Live Break Tab. Excited to be here today. I'm Donnie. That's Dave. And uh, we look forward to a fun show today for you guys. Dave, how are you feeling? Donnie, we're feeling good. Thursday's the best day of the week. Best day of the week. Co-ed you know softball. what it is. Yup. Got co-ed. Here we are. You know what I like to hit at the, at the ladies? Oh, yeah. Try to stretch a single into a double. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't happen very often. Singles only, Donnie. Only co-ed. Singles only. <laughs> <laughs> But Thursdays, we always like to say are the best days of the week for whatever <laughs> reason. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing good. If you're in the chat, give me a what's up. Yeah, what's we always up. like to see who's watching. Uh, got some sporting news going on today. Uh, United States basketball beat Australia last night. And France beat, is it uh, Slovenia? Slovenia with Luka Doncic, bringing his Olympic record to 17 and 1. 17 and 1. That That's hurts. Nuts. That is crazy. That's nuts that he led that Slovenia team to 17 and straight wins. I couldn't name a <laughs> single other player on the Slovenia team. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Uh, who else? Boban? Mara is he? Maraz okay. Maraznovic or whatever? I couldn't tell you. Um,. United States beat Australia, and Australia had beaten United States in a like a pre-qualifying game. As oh, well yes. Early in the year. Remember that? I forgot about that. Beat them by 20 last night. Uh, night. The United States was an 11.5-point favorite yesterday. Really? So Even after covered, losing? Covered the spread. That would have been hard to take those... If I, if I had seen that line and was betting on that game, I would have been tempted with USA oh, yeah. losing. That's a, yeah. that's a big line. For 12 points? Yeah. Yeah. I guess Kevin Durant went nuts. Kevin Durant went does. nuts, carried the team to a uh, a victory. It was Kevin Durant and Drew Holiday were the big rally? How wild, guys! Uh, it was kind of funny. I saw a TikTok and they they asked, "What's up, Marky? Uh, Ronnie Downs and Davey Wavy, my boy. 
How we doing, fellas? Uh, what's up, Jake? Uh, they asked, like, a question. It was Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Damian Lillard, uh, Draymond Green. If you had someone to take the last shot, who would it be? Andre Iguodala. Dude, every one of them was just like, me. I, I would like to take the last shot. Of course. Like, Why except, would they not say that? Like, Draymond said he would pick Kevin Durant or Dame, Damian Lillard. Zach Levine said he would pick Damian Lillard. But other than that, right. everyone's like, I'd pick myself. I mean, like, you have to. Jason Tatum was like, can I pick me? Like, You have to bet on yourself. If I'm Jason Tatum, I'm like, give it to Kevin Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant's <laughs> I mean, going to put a ball. That's fair. If, you're, if you got Kevin Durant on your team, it is a little bit hard to not bet on him. Kevin Durant is getting a proverbial buckets out there in crunch time. We got Danny Cash hopping in on some breaks. Danny, uh, did you see yesterday? Did you happen to see yesterday? We did a, a spin wheel for some UA Cash yesterday, and you won a quite... Quite a bit of a chunk of change yesterday in our prize wheel. Go back and uh, rewatch the stream if you are feeling up to it, of course. Some could say you won the largest chunk of change 100%. possible. 100%. <laughs> That's exactly right. Let's get our dice roll for today. Uh, Danny Dollars Cash says, how much, Danny? you going to go back. It was a riveting moment in the UA Live break room yesterday when we had that UA Cash wheel going. Uh, it wasn't $1. It wasn't $99. It was something special. Dice roll for today is going to be eight. Every time we randomize our divisions, I ever had seven and a half cups of coffee already. I like the way you live, Jake. My God. I like the way you live. That guy's hard as a ticking time bomb. He's uh, what's the what's the Lions head coach? Caffeine junkie kind of thing. What's the Lions new head coach's name? Uh, that guy who's like a crazy person. I don't, you, I don't remember his did name. Did you see what he has every single morning? No. He brings in two... Venti coffees. Okay. So two of them. Each one. <laughs> is Venti a large? Yeah, it's 30 okay. ounces of coffee. So he brings okay. in 60 <laughs> ounces of coffee. Each one of those cups of coffee has two shots of espresso in it each. Every single day. Damn. That's, that's, that's liquid, concerning. Liquid cocaine. <laughs> that is concerning. That guy. I mean, he's a, he's a ball of energy, though. So we can yeah, use it. Yeah, it checks out. Did he win 1 million yen? No, he did not win 1 million yen. That is incorrect. Imagine that. I'm trying to get some... Uh... Wow. Ben Simmons has cut communication with basically, <laughs> with basically everyone on the Sixers. Wow. He's open to joining the Warriors. Oh, well, the Warriors don't want what the Sixers are asking. Dude. Interesting. The Sixers Apparently are that asking, asking prices nuts. It was insane. like insane. It was like four first round picks and like three current players, including Wiseman. Get out of here. No chance, amigo. You don't like Ben? I think Ben is uh, a good defender. He's a good ball handler. Dude, it's hard it's to just be a, not a scorer. It's hard to be a point guard when you can't shoot. Yeah. You can't like. Meatball I mean, City. I would put that as like an equivalent <laughs> to being a quarterback that just runs. Like, yeah, yeah, you're great at what you do, but that's not what the position's there for. Right. Got some today in sport for you guys on this day in uh, 1936, so a little bit long ago. Kind of keeping up with tr the trend of the uh, Olympics. 1936 American athlete Jesse Owens wins 200 meter in world record time, his third gold medal of the Berlin Olympics. Uh, Meatball City Ben Summons is a great free throw guy. What does he shoot free throw percentage wise throughout the season? I'm curious. You guys buying your socks, Field of Dreams jerseys? I don't know what that is. I got to check it out. Jake, are we talking? I got to see it. Socks, Field of Dreams jerseys. I'll put them on the stream. Are we talking like authentic Mexican? If so. Non taco bell. Okay. Wow, those are sick. Al Pastor tacos, cilantro and onion. So they're doing 100%. a percent. A field of. Uh... Wait, what? This boy said a little while ago, bro. That was eighty-five years ago. Oh, what's that? I have no idea. Jake, what's your order? Dude, they're doing a, a field of dreams game, and the Yankees and White Sox both have unis, and yeah. they're awesome. Love that. I put salsa on eggs, but could not be ketchup. <laughs> ketchup on eggs. That sounds repulsive, honestly. Disgusting. 
the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I really don't like eggs that much unless there's like cheese and bacon and salsa. Man, S- ketchup and eggs. That sounds a whole meal. That sounds atrocious. We just filled up a 4th of July authentic helmet. It's pretty cool. Thank you guys for hopping in and filling that up. Ketchup on eggs and pans. Nasty. That ruined your whole day. Uh, the only thing that would make me more upset would be ketchup on steak. Oh, Patrick God. Mahomes. Imagine putting pe- ketchup on steak. Imagine. Someone would. And you know Patrick Mahomes, vomit. Mr. Half a Billion Dollar Man, is going and getting like an $80 steak. Yeah. You go, oh. Uh, and just ruining it. Could I get some ketchup with that, please? Got a chase wheel for you guys today. Here we go. Got a chase wheel for you guys today. We're going to. Uh, spin this wheel, whatever it lands on, that is our chase item for today. Whoever buys in and a break fills up for this specific product, you are entered into a top spot giveaway for some UA cash, some free money. I have a, a trivia question today to also give away some UA cash. Gonna try to, let's see what we got. High level. All right. Dave. Yes. Chase is the batter up. Mix. There we go. I like that. Something new. Something new. Oh, oh. Jake, we gotta take care of business, Dude, brother. I really like the applause that you get for using that wheel. That's great. It makes <laughs> me feel like a better human being. Can we tier ketchup brands? How many ketchup brands are there? I could name two. <laughs> Heinz and Hunts. Hunts, that's right. Hunts ketchup. Unless we're going generic, which in that case, <laughs> we're gonna be digging deep. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get the uh, first break going. If you guys want to give us a box number if you're in the break for the 4th four, uh, of July Authentic, so this is going to be a, uh, a promotional box. This is going to be a promotional box. Everybody in this will get a chance to win a uh, confetti cannon, and inside the confetti cannon there is uh, certain colors, and whatever color comes out of the confetti cannon, that is the top spot entry you've got into another break. For a DK Metcalf Pro Line, Marshall Falk, and... Uh, Adrian Peterson, Adrian Oklahoma, Peterson. Yeah. yeah. Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah. Got some cool famous birthdays today. Nice. On this day, Neil Armstrong. There you go, Neil. First man to walk on the moon. Happy allegedly. <laughs> That's how he's pulling the allegedly. Allegedly. Card. Could have been more staged. <laughs> Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing birthday today. Dude, I think. It's kind of funny that on this website. The Patrick Ewing picture is him in a Sonics jersey. Why would they really? Why would they pick that picture? I think Patrick Ewing is the scariest player to ever be in the NBA. <laughs> why? Like if I was walking down the street why? at night <laughs> and I'm crossing this man in an alley, dude, I am. No, I am. <laughs> I I can't even say what I'm doing. <laughs> I I would lose my mind. I would be so terrified. He is so large, and he looks so mean. I'm sure he's not really mean. That's probably very nice. He coaches uh, Georgetown. Georgetown. Right? He's Georgetown Hoyas coach. Works with the youngins. Mm-hmm. Can't be that mean, huh? What box did Danny Cash say? Danny 32. Cash said 32. All right. Bob getting into that batter up, going for the chase. I love it, man. <laughs> In high school, my school had a point guard that shot less than three times a game tops, but he never left the floor. And he was the heartbeat to the team and won a state championship that way. Why are you taking? Why are you walking in alleys late at night? <laughs> yeah, Dave, what are you doing? I'm just saying, if question. I found myself question. in that situation. That is a great yeah. question. I'm not sure what you are up to late at night. However, it sounds like a dangerous endeavor, if I may say if, so myself. If Patrick Ewing's in the alley, it is. You're in for a long haul, huh? All right, Dave. We got like Grayson Allen there. I'm probably pop- going to beat him up. <laughs> Grayson Allen would whoop you. No. I, I w- refuse to believe that. Okay, Grayson Allen would give you a run for your life. Nope. Uh-uh. This is a fun one. We just uh, actually spent some time with this guy. Uh, this is one athlete I have DM'd on Instagram. You have? And gotten a reply from. Yup. Talked a little bit about golf. A little bit about Jay-Z. Huge Jay-Z guy. Huge Jay-Z guy. My goodness, the X Factor, it's Dante Hall. There we go. So we had Jay-Z in here, and he broke down every single Jay-Z lyric that he loved and thought was interesting enough to us for us to listen and understand. That was that was a, a fun one. It was great. I loved it. He was awesome. 
took some pictures with us in the office. He was a really cool guy. He was very cool. Very All right, fun Dave. to hang out with. If you had to build your franchise around these bum quarterbacks, which one do you use? Who we got? Trubisky, Josh Rosen, Tebow, or Kirk Cousins? I mean, that's the easiest question ever. <laughs> uh, is it Trubisky? You betcha. <laughs> I'd take Trubisky. I mean, if you're not taking Kirk Cousins. Is it Tebow? <laughs> you're just cutting off your nose to spite your face there. You're just what? Cutting off your nose to spite your face? To Cut. spite her face. Cutting off your nose to spite your face, huh? You never heard that? Never. It's like you're you're hurting yourself to hurt someone else. You're just being spiteful. Hmm. Hmm. Dante Hall. <laughs> Dave, they're laying into you right now. That's okay. Dave, you do take Kirk Cousins' heat often, though. You know? You stand in there. What can I say? He's my boy. Gotta stand by him. So first item, while we fill up that batter up mixer quick, you guys are looking for some free cheddar. So every break that fills up does qualify you guys to win some UA cash on our prize wheel at the end of the show. Just a heads up for batter up mixers. Misty Fentress, one of my favorite names in the live break room. Just sounds like a... Sounds like an Olympic athlete. It sounds like a... It sounds like a slot machine. Like... I just lost 80 on Misty Fentress over there. Like, <laughs> like a slot machine. All right, I can see ball. that. Like, I, I can know. see that. This is a, I don't know what it is. I love that name. I think it's awesome. I think I just have Misty May Trainer in Misty my May head. Trainer, yeah. So that's why I think of Olympic athlete. Maybe like an Olympic diver. Is there room left? Slot machine? <laughs> I would love to play some slots right now. You've been... Itching. You've been itching. Dave, I played slot machine last night and lost. I'm so sorry to hear that. You can't win if you don't try. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Let's get a box that we're going for the batter up mixer. What do we got in here? Batter up mixer. We got a ton of those in the room. Yes, sir. So how this break works is we open up the box, then we randomize our list, and the name on the top of the list after we're done with the randomization is the winner. Misty may train her, but then again, someone else might train her. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> that's funny, Bob. <laughs> Kirk Cousins heat. I love a good pun. That's that's a good that's a good pun, Bob. We we appreciate those. Wow, cool card. Tell you what. We need to do another tier list, Dave. Yes. SpongeBob characters. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do some trivia. Maybe, like, it's not so much trivia. It's really hard to know what the hell this is. However, if you get it right, first person to get it right gets $10 free dollars of UA cash. Okay? Here's the question. On this day in 1914, the first ever this was installed in the United States, in Cleveland, Ohio. I will certainly give you some hints as we move along in the show. I think I know what it is. The hint for today is that you see these every single day. You want to mute the mic so you can guess? Every single day? Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, someone must have... Googled it. Andrew there. 100% correct. What is it? On today, in 1914, first electric traffic light was installed in the United States. Wow. <laughs> on the corner of East 105th Street and Euclid Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. There we go. That is correct. Andrew, you just got yourself $10 in UA cash. There you go, Andrew. For the wonderful price of free, free. $3.99. Well, not even $99. <laughs> well, Dave, it's a pun. I know. <laughs> Andrew, did you Google it or did you know it? Be honest. I won't be mad. I think Bob got it. I'm so sorry, Andrew. Well, guess what? They're both getting you a There we go. Love it. Bob, did you Google it? Yes or no? Be honest. <laughs> go ahead. Tell me. 
Fire hydrant's a good guess. Traffic light. Dude, I would have never... I would never have guessed that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know, like, life without traffic lights. <laughs> Think about that. I mean... What am I supposed to go? To be fair, life without cars as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be right around that. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We got anything else? We need a box number for this baseball thing. Oh, my God. 1969 Pirates outfielder Willie Stargell smashed his first and longest home run ever hit out of Dodger Stadium. His first. First home run. Home run. Out of Dodger Stadium or first First ever? and longest home run. Oh, no. The first home run ever hit out of Dodger Stadium. And it was the long. The first one ever hit was the longest one? No, the first and longest home run ever hit out of Dodger Stadium. So the first How one to it? ever go out of the stadium, and it was the longest one to ever go out of the stadium. Uh, 506 <laughs> feet. Oh, my Atlanta. Willie Stargell hit a baseball 506 feet, 1969 on this day. That's insane. Dude, that is a bomb. That's insane. Bomb. Unreal. I guess I can That's one myself. that the outfielders just stand there. Dude, they just go. Like, they, yep. <laughs> Let's randomize these boxes for sure, Dave. Let's just do the darn thing. Batter up. We should do, you know what we should do? Tier list baseball movies. Okay. Is that is that one that's made? I have no idea. We'll find out. I could certainly look. What's, what do you think, Dave? Chicken or the egg first? It has to be the chicken. Gotta be the egg. <laughs> 100% the egg. No, I actually could done. Even though I know it's topical today. I know it's the egg. But I know why. Why? I'll tell you why. After I open up this. Box here. All right, guys. Good luck. Egg. <laughs> egg McMuffin. <laughs> Breakfast theme. Break. Time. Let's see what we got. <laughs> guys, good luck. Thanks for the fill. Buying up some spots in the baseball mixer. Looks like we have a batting helmet in here. Like that. We oh, got. this is pretty sick. This looks to me like a little bit of a Wade Boggs item. Go. Wade Boggs autographed that. Boston Red Sox full-size helmet. Full-size batting helmet. Wade Boggs, long career. Yeah. 18 years. Yeah. Tons of all-stars. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> this is a pretty fun article about Wade, Wade Boggs. I've got an interesting stat for you. Wade Boggs once drank 107 beers in one day. They made a Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode about <laughs> that one. Apparently it was on a flight from like Boston to Seattle or something. My God. How did he not... Think about Wade that. Boggs led the MLB in intentional walks for six straight seasons. <laughs> Hi. Five. Is that good? Six. That's crazy. Seven. And number eight, top spot wins. Going to Nestor Rodriguez. Nice hit, buddy. Nestor Rodriguez in the top spot winner, Wade Boggs, batting helmet. Another crazy stat about Wade Boggs. How was he getting lost? In his entire 18-year career, he had three seasons that he batted under 300. Damn. Isn't that nuts? Put away Boggs in the Hoff. <laughs> right? <laughs> he definitely is. That's nuts. It's crazy that he had so many intentional walks. He really wasn't a big home run hitter. Yeah, right? I was going to say, like... I never thought of him as, like, a big power guy. He had two seasons total with double-digit home runs. And yet he got intentionally walked like no other. That's awesome. He had two seasons with double-digit home runs and got walked. And that's it. And one of those seasons was 11 home runs. 
And then the other was 24. He just popped off that year. Maybe they didn't test for PEDs that year or something. He was just hitting bombs. Yeah. Drinking beers. All right, what else we got, Dave? What else is filling up here? We're actually getting pretty close on our... Not, we're about halfway on that batter up number two. People are chasing today. We love to see that. We've got six left in our high-level minis. We got our hottie toddies, six left as well. Let me see, five left in our diamond series. Yep. All Other than that, board. we're pretty wide open here, Don. All over the board today. That that uh batter up is a ten spot break. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry about that, Don. Thank right. you. Because you did say it was halfway full, and I saw four, so we gotta beat that before. You're right. It gets there. What are you eating? Doritos. You're not gonna share? Nope. Chipotle today? Chipotle. Must be the, dude, I can't believe that. What's that? Wade Boggs, 108 beers. 107 beers in a day. It's crazy. Sounds painful. God. What? Sounds impossible if, uh, <laughs> if I'm speaking truthfully. <laughs> if not for his beer drinking, Boggs would be best remembered for his chicken eating. He was infamously was so superstitious that he ate chicken before every game of his career. Um, what? So we more so know Boggs for drinking beer and eating chicken rather than playing baseball. Best nickname: Dutch Oven Derek Holland for sure. <laughs> is that Derek Holland? Is that a? Uh, what does he do? A pitcher? Is he in the MLB right now? I don't know who Derek Holland is. It's not Dutch up. It's just Dutch. <laughs> Derek Holland. <laughs> Sounds good, Jason. My bad. <laughs> Let's do best. Nick. Thanks for letting me know, man. Names. I think the tier list website gave my computer a virus. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Just because it's supposed to be for work. All right. What? That tier list is work. What are you looking at over there, Donnie? Looking at the tier list for baseball movies. I think we're going to do that. Let's do it. I need to see the titles. I can't... You do have to throw it up on the screen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. See it. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Baseball movies tier list. That's what we're doing before we fill up the next break. Actually, no, I'm going to take this down for a second. I'm going to put the link in the chat yes, one sir. more time. <laughs> Jake, there's only two ketchup brands. <laughs> if there's a third, then they win. All right, here we go. 42? S. Easy. 42 rocks. You ever seen 42? I've never seen 42. I can tell you I it's really a, didn't want you to ask that question. I can tell you it's an S-tier movie. All right. Without even thinking about it. Love that. Jackie Robinson story. I have no doubt in that. Whoever says 42 is less than S will maybe be blocked on, <laughs> on site. Have you ever seen 61? No. 61 is the Roger Maris Mickey Mantle story. Never seen that one either. Um, I have seen it a long time ago, though. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, is he the reason you your number is 42? Uh, I just think we have a lot of similarities <laughs> on the field. It's also a conversation starter. There you go. Foot speed. Athleticism. <laughs> That's pretty much why. I don't, I don't know, six, what is 61? 61 is what? I have no idea. I haven't seen it in a long time. How about a league of their own? Tom Hanks coaching the women's baseball team. There's no crying I in baseball. I saw that a while ago. Yeah. I'd go B. I don't know. You want to go lower? I, I don't remember the movie a ton. I don't remember the movie a ton. We're going to need some help on this one. S, league is so much better than 40. Slime, you're really pushing it today, buddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Things are not going well right now for you and I as friends. All right, Donnie, how about we do this? Let's get on the same page here. Let's throw Moneyball up in the S. We can get... I think we'll get there. We'll get there? All right. Yeah. The next one is Angels in the Outfield. It's probably a B. I don't love that movie. Even though it's, it's cool. I don't love it. What's a C? A C League of Their Own? Okay, thanks. Angels in the Outfield, B. Because it was one of the first baseball movies I remember like watching. And being like, that was cool. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, Angels is a C? I, I would accept Angels as a C, too. Okay, I'll take that. I would do what that. What do we do for 61? I have no reference here. Let me check out the uh, IMBD scores. <laughs> what is Rotten Tomatoes giving? I have no idea. I'm not, I don't remember. All right, Jake says F. Rotten Tomatoes has a 85% <laughs> never seen tomato it. meter and a 90% audience score. All right, it's giving me a B vibe. That's I think it has to be a B with those ratings. Uh, good ratings, but we've never seen it or yeah. haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. The original Bad News Bears this movie rocks. It's been a while since I've seen that one, so too. So good. I'll tell you, it's a B-level movie. Okay. Or maybe an A movie. I'll give it an A. Benchwarmers? That's a really hard one because it's not a serious movie. It's not a serious baseball. But it's really funny. It's a funny movie. Uh, Got some nice life lessons in there. There is a huge plot hole. Huge. What's that? Just walk Gus. <laughs> Intentionally walk Gus bus. Why aren't even they doing that? Why aren't they walking Gus bus? That's a great, great. To get to question. Richie. Like, <laughs> get to Richie. <laughs> get to Richie and Clark. Just throw around Gus bus. Dude, I'd, I I might get some flack for this, but I'd throw Bench... <sighs> it's probably a B movie. I was going to say funny. B. It's funny. It's, it's funny. just funny. It's meant to be funny. Yeah. Walk Gus Bus every single time he comes to the plate, and you yeah. beat that team immediately. Immediately. They have three guys. <laughs> Learn how to hit oppo. Yeah, right? For, that, that's the biggest plot hole, is that there are three fielders in the field, one of them being a pitcher. And the other, and the catcher. other a catcher. And John Hader, Clark can't catch. <laughs> And with all that said, it's a B movie. <laughs> uh, Bull Durham. That's I think that's good. I don't remember that one. Never heard of it. I don't know what this Ed movie is. Slime says Bull Durham is an S. I'll believe Slime. I've heard really good things about Bull, Bull Durham. Okay. I don't. Is the rookie on this list? The rookie is. Yes. Okay. To the right. Next is I don't know what this Ed movie is. Is that the movie with the monkey that plays? That's going to be an F there, if that's the case. <laughs> I think Ed moves into the F category. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eight Men Out is... Never heard that one either. It's an older movie, though. The Monkey Raked. <laughs> I never had heard of this movie. <laughs> is it like Air Bud, kind of? Charlie just... Sheen is an Eight Men Please Out. Please tell me you've seen Ed. Oh, Black Sox Scandal. No idea. Never saw it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Eight Men Out. How about, um... Eight Men Out looks old. 88. Andrew says no to Angels in the Outfield. Andrew, what do you think of Angels in the Outfield? You tell me. We're where, easily, do we, where do we put them? We would put them in C. Just because it wasn't super realistic. I think it's... I, I mean, I, it's I'm also... I'm going to get some flack here. I think it's pretty corny, too. Oh, it's corny. Yeah. All right, C for eight. Right, I do have one that I'm really going to get some flack for. I can fever tell pitch? you that much. What? I love Fever Pitch. You put it wherever you want. Have you ever seen it? No. Jimmy Fallon. Nice. Plays a diehard Red Sox fan. Okay. Falls in love with Drew Barrymore. Okay. Who doesn't like baseball. Okay. Becomes a big problem. Uh, one huge problem I have with this movie. Okay. Massive. So at the end, he's selling his tickets. Uh huh. Because he no longer wants to go to the games, wants to put his life first, wants to put Drew Barrymore first. Yep. She is a streaker on the field. So she falls out of the center field, like, she jumps over the center field wall, runs to where he is, and then they have, like, a five-minute conversation. <laughs> She's on the she field. She would have been... Immediately arrested. Oh, yeah. They have, like, a five-minute conversation. For that reason, Fever Pitch is not an S nor a... No, it's an A. Sounds good. It's an A tier. I'm okay if with it's... that. Uh, that one part doesn't happen. The story's good. It's funny. A lot of baseball in it. It's around okay. the Boston Red Sox. Okay. It's an A movie, I think, in my opinion. I'm good with that. It's funny. What is this next one there? Is that, say, Field, is that Field of Dreams? Field of Dreams it's, is an S-tier baseball movie. Yep. Any day of the week. I, uh, I would put that as an F. 
F? F. Hate that movie. Why? I think it is so unbelievably boring. <laughs> I think it is so... Oh, man. I so, cannot tell you how boring I think that movie is. That's where I'm going to get the most flack. Field of Dreams is boring? I think it is unbelievably boring. I thought it was cool to see. It's, good. it's a good baseball staple movie. They built a field around the entire movie. Wow. <laughs> we did not agree on Bob, I absolutely did. But Field of Dreams stinks. <laughs> uh, Field of Dreams is a staple baseball movie, however. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. I'm glad somebody's with me here. Jake, you are... Jake said seven cups of coffee, so his brain is probably wired a little bit differently. I think it's on point. He knows what he's talking about. What's up, Chris? Uh, what do we got? For the love of the game? Guys, let me put the live break link in the chat again for you guys. You guys want to hop in on anything? What are we close on, Dave? It's a little same same spot as last okay. time. Okay, same spot as last same time. Same spot as last time. Yes, sir. For the love of the game, does anybody have an idea on that one? I don't think I've seen that one. I haven't seen that one either. Major League is probably an S tier movie. I'm okay with that. Moneyball S. S. That's that. That is the S of S's, I think. Love of the game is Costner as an older pitcher. No, that's rookie. Right. I thought the rookie was Kevin Costner as an older pitcher. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because right? he throw. Remember the one time in the and scene he's, he's out he throws by the traffic thing. Oh yeah, he yeah. throws it, and yeah. the thing shows like 68, but then the thing comes up and it's a nine, 98 or whatever. Oh, uh, that, it's not Kevin Costner. Oh, though. that's Dennis Quaid. Ah, that's that is correct. It's not Costner. It's just another guy that just another stri guy strikes me as very similar as. Kevin Costner. <laughs> Where do we did we do the rookie yet? No, we haven't put the okay. rookie anywhere yet. Is that a B movie? I was gonna say a B or an A. I think that's a good one. Give the rookie a B. Good feel good story. That's why I have no trust in this list. <laughs> <laughs> Love of the game is that an A? I don't know. I don't really remember that movie that much. All right, you got it, slime. Henry Rowan Gardner, rookie of the year. Brad wants it to be A. Brad is a huge Henry Rowan Gardner guy, by the way. Okay. Monster. And he played for the Cubs. That's why. Love that. Henry Rowan Gardner would get rocked if he went to the MLB right now. Why do you say that? Like, throwing hard fastballs is unbelievably normal now. Yeah. Like, that's true. Dude, that's, DeGrom throws that's a 102 and it moves like a foot. Insane. It is pretty, pretty crazy. It is a fun movie, I guess, though. I guess. <laughs> I'm putting Rookie of the Year in the B. Okay. Sandlot, staple baseball movie. I have a huge problem with that movie. You know. I know. The Sandlot and S movie? Yes. Yeah, it is. How about Hardball? I've never seen Hardball. Never seen Hardball? Never seen it. Keanu? Never seen it. That's tough. That's tough. I'll watch Hardball. That movie rocks. If you watch... What did I give you an assignment? Miracle. <laughs> okay, I've already seen Miracle. I just haven't seen it in a long time. All right. However, Gary Busey sucks. Dave, Dave take a lap. <laughs> Hardball is awesome. Probably an A movie. Calderwood, watch Hardball. <laughs> How do I feel about this? No D-tier movies. I feel like I should put one in the D tier just to make it even. Um, I feel like this is okay. There's a couple I haven't seen, so I need your guys' input on those, as always. I don't know. I don't know anything about the C movies to bring them down to a B. I don't think we can bring or down to a C or D. Yeah. I don't think we can bring Ed up to. Ed D has either. earned himself an F. Ed is that. Yep. <laughs> I would make an argument for Field of Dreams, maybe a D, just because... Because you hate it? Whatever. But I'm okay with this list. As long yeah. as My Ball's in the S, I love that movie, Donnie. Money Ball's awesome. Dude. That movie is incredible. Brad says Money Ball seemed too high. <sighs> Brad, wow, okay. Maybe he's not a pit guy. List bites. That's tough. Ouch. Hardball higher than A League of Their Own is awful. Man. Really... 
Maybe they have to watch a week of their own again, but I do not remember being too jazzed up about it. Bob is not happy with us right now. Hardball's awesome, Bob. G baby. Unreal. The fan is definitely a deep. Who's what's the fan? That's not even in the list. <laughs> Chris Joseph is making up his own movies <laughs> for the tears. <laughs> Trouble with the curve. <laughs> You ever seen that one? Is that Clint, Clint Eastwood, right? I think so, yeah. You know, I'll be honest, Donnie. Clint mm. Eastwood doesn't do it for me. So you hating Clint Eastwood? I don't hate him. He just doesn't do it for me. He seems to get a lot of love. And I don't understand it. Guys, put your favorite, uh, put your favorite sports nickname in the chat. Because I've got a great one. I think I already know my favorite one. I, think I know yours too. Is it NFL? It is NFL. Start with an N? It does not start with an N. Okay. Nigerian Nightmare? That's what I thought you were going to no, say. No, it's not it. But that's... Start with a P? No. Okay. What, what was that one? Polish Rifle. Wow, Jaworski. I really like that one too. Jaworski, this one's better. There's some really good sports nicknames, man. There are. You know which nickname I hate? Hater Dave, I have to have one. Um, NFL? Yep. Current. Current. Beast Mode? Marshawn Lynch? No, I love that. That's so cool. That's cool. I hate DeAndre Hopkins' nickname. Oh, Nuke? N-U-K? I think it's just more of a story name. More of a what? It's like more of a story, like more of a story behind it than his oh. nickname. I didn't know that. I think there's something behind it, yeah. Ah. Well, in that um, case, I won't judge. Well, I guess the story is not that good. What, what is it? Or is it a sad story? Hopkins earned the name Nuke because when he was very young, his mother bestowed the moniker on Hopkins because he would only use one brand of pacifiers. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> that absolutely blows. Is that the worst nickname That ever? is the worst nickname in all <laughs> of sports. Uh, Come on, DeAndre. Are you kidding uh, me? Hey, man. He didn't make it. That makes me so mad, Donnie. <laughs> Knowing was... that that's the story now, that makes me so upset. Brad R. said the worst nickname is someone named Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. I never knew that. <sighs> All right, let's do it. What else we got for today, guys? Dave, anything else coming through? We're sitting firm. Okay. We are sitting firm. Guys, we're going to hang out for a little bit longer here. See if we can fill up anything else. We got a couple spots left in the baseball chase. If you want to fill up that baseball mixer and try to get some free UA cash. We are automatically doing the spin <laughs> with the 10 people that already did it. If you get in this next one, we will absolutely do that. We'll throw you in there. A Peeps guy? Is that like the Easter candy, those little yellow birds? I bet you are a Peeps guy, Donnie. I'm absolutely not a Peeps guy. I bet you are. Oh, my God. Do you guys so going off home run, you talked about a Dodger Stadium. Do you guys think 100, the athletes today are bigger, faster, stronger, jump higher than, say, the 70s, 80s, and 90s? Uh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Absolutely. Without a doubt. 100%. There's so much more training and... I mean, just science behind the training, knowledge behind what you have to do. The technology is crazy. Huh. Uh, I don't even think they sell those right now at this time of year. Right? Do they even sell peeps year-round? I would be shocked if they did. I've only seen them maybe one month out of the year. April. April. That's it. That's it. I mean, that would make a ton of sense. I would check that out on YouTube right now if I could. Ken Caminetti. Brad, I'm not sure if I know who Ken Caminetti is. Let me look him up. Ken Caminetti. Wow. I like the way he looks already. The guy's built. He is built. I can get behind Ken. 
Who thought about putting a peep in the microwave? Was like, hey, I'm gonna blow this thing up. <laughs> How would they even know that? Dan Ugly. Tim, good to see you in the chat, my man, or in the room, I should say. Getting into that batter up. We got three spots left there for that chase of the day. Cool. <sighs> Timmy Leonard? Tim Pillay. Oh, Tim, Tim Pillay. What's up, Tim? How you doing, Tim? What's up? What's up, T? Can I call you T? T? I think he just made it. Yeah, a couple spots left, right, you said? Three spots. Cool. Thanks, Tim, for hopping in on some breaks. Appreciate you. <sighs> Yeah, guys, a batter-up mixer is today's chase, so everybody that gets in that, if it fills, Timmy T-Bone, if it fills, uh, we will, Jose, what's up, dude, and getting my classroom ready Jose? for students, oh, Jose, there you go. Very cool. What do you teach, my man? I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess. Jose is a world history teacher. I like that. I'm going to go, Jose is a high school Science teacher. Okay. All right. High Jose, school Jose is definitely teaches at a high school level. Oh, gym teacher. <laughs> Dude, gym teachers have it good, man. So nice. Gym teachers have it good. The high school, maybe college level. Oh, government. Government and psych. Dang. Very cool. Is that high school level, Jose? I think that's got to be. Yeah, to teach both those for sure. I don't think they teach either of those before high school. At least in when oh, I was. Oh yeah, yeah. When I, I mean, maybe even like a college professor. That would be very cool. To be a college professor in two different courses, you have to have your doctorate in both. Yeah. It's a smart man. Jose, high school level. There you go, dude. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Yeah, shout out Jose. Jose, what do you like to teach more? Ooh, good question. Psych's probably fun. I bet, he's, I bet Psych. Psych is probably fun. Psych, is, Psych was a cool class. I feel like students are much more... I don't know. Students get pretty involved in government. One spot to go. I mean, social media is very involved in government. Yeah. And my, every uh, kid has social media. My politics teacher in high school <laughs> did the most ridiculous thing. He made us all take a political ideology test. Okay. And then he arranged our seating in the class based on that. Really? So you sit next to people with the same political views as you? Yeah. Interesting. Ridiculous. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> I don't know how that got passed. <laughs> I mean, he probably didn't tell a soul about that. I was just like, all right, here we go. Caused a lot of, a lot of turmoil. Comeuppance. A lot of comeuppance. 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 There we go, Jacob. Closing out that batter up. Appreciate that, man. Let's win. All right, Jake. All right. All right, Jake. So here's how it works, man. I know you haven't done a top spot break. I know you've only been in one of those divisional breaks before. Uh, and if you haven't got it already, that means you didn't win. Just heads up. <laughs> <laughs> so how it works is that we open up the box, and then we show off the item, and then we randomize the list and the name at the top after our eight spins on the dice roll is the winner. Jake, you're also entered in for some UA cash today because the uh, Battle Up Mixer is our chase item for the day. Chase of the day. Jake, thanks for closing that out. Appreciate it. Brandon, Robert, Tim, Michael, Nestor. Let's go. You guys want to give us a box number? So we don't have number 10. We have 17, 19, 20, and 21 available in the room. If you guys want to give us one of the box numbers, then we'll open that box. Trying to break it all down. Trying to lay it all out. Lay it on the line. Lay it on the line. All right, slime, 19. Slime is Robert Boulet, number 19. Yes, sir. You bought frapples in the toilet, and you like it. <laughs> what is that? Sandlot. When they're arguing with those rich kids. Oh. On the <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do remember that. And you like it. All right, here we go. Feels light. Feels light. Looks like there may be an item that doesn't okay. fit in there. Okay. We shall see. We shall 
usually that's usually a good sign if it's light. I mean, you got like a, like a. Oh, it is. A, it is a piece of paper. Oh wow. What we got done, dude. Headliner. Huge, Love it. huge headliner. Love it. Hit me with it. Congratulations, you just won a 16 by 20 signed by Alex Rodriguez. Ooh, okay. Alex Rodriguez, 16 by 20. Okay. Dave, I may have you. Uh, I may have you stall for a sec while I grab that item. Okay. Is that cool? Sounds good. Let me go grab I'll that. Be here. It's actually sick because it is not in here at the moment. Give me one sec. That's awesome. A Rod. A Rod's been in the news a lot lately. His uh, his former love. Oh. Bob knows. <laughs> Former love J Lo, hanging out with Ben Affleck. Been quite the turmoil here on Twitter. I've seen a lot about that. Gotta love A Rod. Sunday Night Baseball. Does he still do that? He still does. Dude, this is sick. Were you talking about J Lo? Yeah, we were talking about J Lo. How could you? Talking about how much Ben Affleck stinks. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Autograph, yes. Alex Rodriguez, photo. Jake, I couldn't agree more. Coach Ronnie Donald. Bob, 41. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, yeah, anyone's better than Jessica Mendoza. Oh, that's a cool picture, too. I like that. A little Yankees photo. That's very cool. Sign there on the old hamstring. All right, let's see who wins. Here we go. Guys, good luck. Thanks for filling up this break. Let's see who wins. We're going to put the randomizer up on the screen. Pop our names in there. See who's taking her home. And we randomize eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Top spot is Nestor Rodriguez. There you go, Nestor. Nestor Rodriguez takes the Alex Rodriguez autographed photo. It's pretty cool. That's Very a headliner cool. hit. A Rod's an expensive Absolutely. signature. Hard to get. Super too. expensive signature. I feel like he doesn't sign too much. He does not. This is a fanatic COA, and this is actually numbered. Check oh. this out. Numbered photo 16 of 113. If you can see it. Wow. Photo. That's pretty cool. Damn it, I was seven. Dave rigged it. <laughs> <laughs> you had the runner up spot? You better cool that catch up talk and maybe you'll uh, win the next one, huh, Jake? Yeah, dork. <laughs> Actually, you can talk all about ketchup you want. You better cool the Kirk Cousins talk. Then we can. There we go. Now he's rattled. Then we can see what we can get. Now he's rattled. <laughs> I cannot wait for Kirk Cousins to win me my fantasy football league as I pick him up in the tenth round. I can't <laughs> wait. You know what that noise was? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Chris just mentioned this. Haven't shown, haven't shown the big McGuire anymore. Oh, yeah. It's a really cool piece. Yeah, it's, it's cool. <sighs> Good news. Mom's still alive. Bad news is she's sleeping with my boss, Raj. King of the slams. Yeah, he is really cool. Dude. Dave, can you hold this up? Just yeah. Sure. Check this piece out. <laughs> Check this thing out. So that is uh, one of the headliners in the batter up mixer. Check that thing out, dude. That's massive. Autograph Mark McGuire. Jersey. A couple 16 by 20s. Those are probably 8 by 10s in there, right? I think, yeah. A couple 8 by 10s. Yeah. That's a sick... Pretty cool piece. Yeah, you want to just drop it. But again, one of the headliners in the Batter Up Mixer is still available, too. Yes, sir. Still available as well. And we're still chasing today, too. Yep. Ooh. Guys, what else are we thinking for today? Slime says, can we see the auto? Uh, yeah. Not hard. I will certainly try. You want me to hold it or are you just going to zoom in from there? Yeah, I might just zoom in. Okay. Good call. Nestor saw that McGuire and he said he wants some of that. 
Starting off batter up number three. Appreciate it, Nestor. Let's see if we can get another chase going. How's that look? Looks good. Thanks. <laughs> What's that? Steven Meyer says it comes with a complimentary <laughs> side of vitamins. Those are not vitamins. <laughs> It does come with an LOA. It's pretty cool. All right. All right, guys. We are. Let me. You only see. need some autos from two times sixteen inch Hall of Famer. How could you be a two times sixteen inch Hall of Famer? <laughs> two separate Hall of Fames. You have two separate names. Both in the Hall of Fame. Oh, you been lying, baby. All right, guys, we have eight spots left in our batter up mixer. And we have three spots left in our diamond helmet series as well, if we wanted to rip one of those. Other than that, pretty wide open. Could do some oh, minis. Two different teams I've played for are in the Hall of Fame. So that makes you a two time Hall of Famer. <laughs> I played for a team that's in the Hall of Fame for one year. Did Wallace you? Wallace Softball, baby. Wallace Softball. There I don't know go. if March is in the Hall of Fame, though. Danny, are you talking about the wheel spin cash? Uh, that'll be done today. That'll be done today. Well, it'll be done today because we have Danny cash from yesterday, we have Matt from last night, and then we're going to get this one and then add all three at once. Beautiful. I was a bench warmer on Wallace. Does that count? A duster. I was a bender on that team. Jeff left our names off the march. They beat, they beat Smackout yesterday. Lug nuts beat smack out last night. Big news. Big win for the lug. Big big news. What's the team name? Lug nuts. Lug nuts. <laughs> Tough look. <laughs> Who's your sleeper pick for fantasy this year? Um, I've got a couple. I got a couple guys. Uh, I like Corey Davis for the Jets this year. I think Corey Davis does pretty good. Not Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Two people says not. Wow, banter, Dave. Thoughts? Thoughts? Keep it, keep it coming, guys. Come on. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. You can for him to prove all of you wrong. I don't. I what I what I truly don't. If we really want to get into this. We've got oh, Justin no. Jefferson, who everyone's popping off Here about. Here we go. Adam Thielen, who everyone's popping off about. And Delvin Cook, who everyone's popping off about. I don't know who you guys think are going to get him the ball, other than Kirk Cousins. All of them. Irv Smith, he could be a good sleeper. If To answer the question, Adam Troutman is one of my sleeper picks this year. And Lavishka Chanel. I don't know if we can consider him a sleeper. Kind of. I think he's going to really do well. I will tell you that Kirk Cousins is not a sleeper. Got right. a couple personals to do, Don. I think Timmy P just snagged a couple personal boxes. He's looking for that McGuire. All right, Tim has got three. He wants 17 and 20. All right, Tim, you got it. Chris, if we could get a box number for you as well, we can throw that in there for a personal. Um... They get one entry for the UA cash as well. Cool. Sounds good to me. So, Tim. Tim, and it looks like you got, Tim got three. three personals. So, we need one more box number there. I'll just put his name in there to go with the numbers. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Chris wants 21. So, while we're waiting, let's do a couple personals. Whoever the other box is available, whatever other box is available, let me know. We have a couple, actually. 20, 23, 24, 20, 17. And down. Rumble. Oh, here we go. 
Dave, Chris Joseph, here we go. Chris Joseph, box number 21. Let's get it. All right, Chris, good luck, dude. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm bringing those names over for that top spot. Ooh, we filled up another one of those? UA Cash. Oh, okay, cool. No, 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 just all of them. So all right, Chris. You're ready to go. This is Chris Joseph, box 21. Okay. We have a piece of paper, which is a good sign. Okay, autographed baseball bat signed by. You know, do some research on this guy. Sounds like a, an older name. I know he's not current. Bob Horner. Bob Horner, third baseman, first baseman. Right handed batter. Wow, this guy looks electric. Played for the Braves for a long time. And the St. Louis Cardinals. Career. Played 10 years in the MLB. Okay. 218 home runs, 685 RBIs. Career batting average 277. Not sure if he's related to... Oh, Nico has an E in there, right? Nico yeah, Horner? he does. So this is Bob Horner. This goes to Chris Joseph. So a throwback guy here. Played from 78 to 88, so 10 years. In the MLB. You know, he probably spent like five in the minors. So this goes to Chris Joseph. So we'll have to grab that bat. Bob Horner had a four home run game against the Expos. Is that true? There you go. How do you know that? You never. Oh, my favorite nickname in sports, by the way? Yeah. Megatron. That's an awesome one. I just listened to an interview with him yesterday. That's right. That's why I thought about that. It was a fun interview, too. With PMT and the boys. Yes, sir. They are so funny. All right, so <sighs> Tim's got a couple. 17, 20. Tim, if you want one more, we have box 23 in here, I believe. But that series goes all the way up to number 40. So if you want to pick any box you'd like, you can. That was a nice little tone. Tune. A little ditty. 23 for that bat last box, Tim. We got you. It's in the other rooms. Bob Horner. Do you need it? We're going to show it off. I'd like to. All right, he's got a couple boxes. This one feels light. Okay. Again, we're looking for the light ones. That's one's going to have the Maguire. Got that right. Can't fit the Maguire in the box. Danny Dollars Cash wants to fill up that diamond as well. I agree. Three spots left there. Those are really fun to rip. What do we got here? Steve, man, I'm not sure why you're even asking. You know what my answer is. All right, first item. He is absolutely going to be in the top 12. Okay, first item, we have an 11 by 20, Denny McLean, middle of the pitch. Wow, six inscriptions on here. Denny Love McLean, that. that's a cool photo. That is a cool photo. That looks like Denny McLean was in Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> it does. What a cool picture. 31 and 6 in 1968, Cy Young Award winner, 68-69, MVP, 1968, ERA of 1.96. Uh, he struck out 280 guys. World Series champion, 1968. That's pretty cool. That goes to Tim Pelle. Dude, six inscriptions is, is awesome. That's something we don't see very often. It's a nice picture, Tim. Very nice hit. That's a really cool picture. I like it. Fast and Furious. Doesn't it look like it? <laughs> it does. It's like Dom like Toretto it. and Denny McLean. Vin Diesel's just doing donuts around him as he's winding up. That's Dom Toretto, baby. <laughs> You look cool holding that bat. <laughs> Steven, I'll tell you what, I'll level with you about, about Mr. Cousins. 
The only thing that would hold him out of specifically fantasy, which I truly do think he will be a top 12, is that he does not use his legs a lot to get yards or score touchdowns. And that is where fantasy quarterbacks are really moving towards to capitalize on their fantasy-specific performances. Here we go. Spent several years in prison? What'd he do? Denny McLean? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. I don't recall. Here we go, next item. Little piece of paper. Again, that's good. Oh my goodness. That's good. There we go, another baseball bat. Man, this, this baseball mixture is fun stuff. Steve Avery? We're going to check him out, too. Do you, do you look up Denny McLean? Yeah. Played oh, from geez. 19. Oh my goodness! Nice. Played from 1990 to 2003. Steve Avery was a pitcher in the NL. Probably got a couple at bats. Played 11 years. Another Brave. So we have two Atlanta Braves so far. Oh, you just hold on to the beer. Yeah, I'll put that there. If you want to get a jump start on the beer. There's another bat. All right, that's the last one. Last one for Tim. <laughs> Kirk Cousins banter at full effect today, Dave. I think they're just trying to get under your skin. I think they are. Is it working? Not even slightly. It sounds like it's working. Not even slightly. Part of me wants it to be working. You guys wanna, you guys wanna keep sleeping on him. That's fine. All right, Tim. I would be a little curious as to what season it was that he did throw more interceptions than touchdowns. Oh wait, Jake, it's none. Thank you very much. <laughs> Autographed baseball. Okay. Oh, this, this is pretty good. Who we got? Brandon Fox jumping in that diamond. <laughs> this is an awesome item. This is an autographed baseball. Dude. Who we got? This is great. Jose Canseco. Nice. <laughs> the godfather of steroids inscription. No. I think that's what it says. No. Is that what it says? I think it does. Godfather of, of uh, look. Let me see that guy. That's absolutely what it says. Well, well, let me check the Beckett. Is it Steels? <laughs> it's definitely not Steels. I didn't think so. <laughs> it has to be. Let me that look. Is... It'll tell me on the... Uh... It's been a while since I've held a baseball in my hand. It feels good. Yeah, we got two spots left in that diamond. Brandon Fox just bought in. Thank you, Brandon. The Vikings will win. Ooh, yeah, I think that's right where their over-under is set. Jose Canseco, godfather of steroid. That's awesome. That is very funny. Pick Dude, that's so cool. I love that. That's a lot of fun. I like that he writes that. <laughs> I'm shocked that he writes that. Jose Canseco, godfather of steroids. <laughs> Matt says that's what it says. Hold it up to camera. I was just checking the... Uh, the COA, just to make sure, because I didn't think that was real. That's a really fun hit, Tim. <laughs> that is awesome. Steven, I believe their over-under is at 9.5. Who, Vikings? For the Vikings. Over. And in my, my, I do a competition with my roommate. We pick every over-under. I did have them taking the over. That was We did that before Aaron Rodgers was coming back. I still do think that they hit that over. That was 17 cool. games, two on the schedule. Absolutely. That was cool. I don't know. That was a cool item. That I loved awesome. that. I love that. That was a lot of fun. The only guys that do better inscriptions than that are is Pete Rose. What does he say? Pete Rose will write anything. Really? Oh, yeah. Pete Rose will write anything you ask him. That's funny. I've seen baseballs that say Pete Rose, and then he says, like, I'm sorry I shot the president. <laughs> Hunter, dude, it's, it's comical. That's nuts. Let me see if I can find a couple of Pete Rose. <laughs> yeah, Jake, I bet that has a little bit something to do with it. I won't lie. <laughs> Here's a couple good ones. Pete Rose will write anything on baseball. Um, 
Build the Wall for Pete's sake. <laughs> Hit King. Uh, he put hits. 4,256, steroids zero. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey Mantle, for calling me Charlie Hustle. I'm sorry I bet on baseball. I'm sorry I broke up the Beatles. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's really cool. I, I think that's a really cool thing he does. Hit King is cool. I'd walk through... I'd walk through hell in a gasoline suit to play baseball. Wow. That sounds hot. Sounds dangerous. Sounds like he would be hot. I like that. I would just like co to collect a couple different Pete Rose baseballs. All right, now we got another personal to do. Yep. Thank you. I asked Pete to write, thanks Mickey Mantle for cha naming me Charlie Hustle. Chris, if we want to get a box number for that personal that you just got into, we can rip that one open. Hits 4,256, 4, steroid zero, Hall of Fame. Hall of is, should he be in the Hall of Fame? Yes. The question marks on the Hall of Fame is funny. I love sorry I bet on baseball. This one says I'm sorry I shot JFK. Jeez. <laughs> I think that's great. All right, Chris, 30. 38. That's not going to be Chris. Chris, thanks for calling out. That's not going to be in here. Oh, it's out there. 38? It's probably going to be in the other room. Yep. Matt, what other ones have you seen? The Charlie Hustle one is cool. That's crazy. He put, I'm sorry, I shot JFK. There's no crying in baseball. Jacob JFK should have been standing there. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Got it? Box number 38, hand Ooh. delivered. Sealed, signed, delivered. All right, here we go, 38, batter up mixer. Chris Joseph, thanks, buddy. Chris and Tim in a steel cage match with a McGuire. And again, guys, you're all getting entered into a top spot entry for some UA cash as well. All right, here we go. Chris Joseph, good luck, dude. Let's see what we got for you. It's not the McGuire, it's not a piece of paper. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool item. Okay. We got a White Sox jersey. Okay. Harold Baines. Harold Baines, Chicago White Sox autograph. Number three jersey. I think Harold Baines does a lot of TV now, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's a baseball tonight guy, right? Or is he on? He's a new Hall of Famer. Harold Baines. Steven Meyer says A.J. Dillon is a sleeper this year. I could see that. New backup runner. That's pretty cool. He's in Green Bay, right? Yeah. I think Aaron Jones would have to get hurt. Yeah, exactly. But Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams got along really well last year splitting carries. I could I could see A.J. Dillon being okay. I could see that. That goes to Chris Joseph. Nice hit, Chris. Cool item. Chicago White Sox custom jersey, so no logos associated with the item. However, it looks perfect in a frame. Yes, sir. And that's what the custom jerseys are truly meant for. Exactly. The autographed is authentic on the right number with the right colors, and it looks awesome in a frame. That's kind of the big deal. It's all that matters. With custom. I love that. I love that. They can. Well, Harold Baines. Right, Dave, what's next? Are we close on that diamond? What do we at? How many yeah, spots? we got two spots left on the diamond. Try to fill up that diamond. Fill out yeah, today. For sure. 
We are also six spots away on that batter up number three. More people want some free cheese. Free cheddar. Matt in the chat put, Pete Rose was a 17-time All-Star. That is crazy. That's exactly what he said. Dude, Pete Rose has an incredible resume. Is Pete Rose... Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, come on. He was in the MVP hunt like almost every year that he was on the All-Stars, too. That's crazy. 41. Football's back tonight. Can't wait. We have Hall of Fame game tonight. Cowboys. Yup. And Cowboys and Steelers, and Steelers, I believe, right? Well, 41, we have doubleheader co-ed. Don't miss co-ed, please. We need you bad. But you can watch football after. We can watch football at Tipsy's after. Who do you, th who do you think we're going to see there? Do you think we're going to see anybody? I don't know. Who usually plays in that game? Anybody? Like, Dak's not playing. I don't think Dak is cleared to play yet. Really? Like, Zeke's not getting a touch. It's going to be Tony Pollard, which will be kind of interesting to see how he does. Pollard will be fine. I'm sure it's, they have, like, six running backs right now anyway. As excited as I am about the game, it is a little bit hard to take anything, like, anything that you see in the game tonight or this week or the coming weeks, you got to take with a grain of salt. Because not only are the starters not really playing on offense, but the defense isn't either. It's so when you see Tony Pollard rip off a, a big game. Might not translate over to that regular season so much. Guys, let's do this. I'm going to put a couple links in the chat. Let's try to close out today's break on the diamond and then the batter up number three. Let's do it. How's that sound? We got one spot in the diamond. Two spots in the diamond. I'm sorry. Two spots in the diamond at 85 bucks a spot. I'm going to put that in the chat if you guys want to hop in on a full-size helmet break to win our biggest potential items that we have in office. Ooh, Steven Myers with a big claim, huh? So let's go diamond, and then let's go right into the baseball mixer number three. Let's, let's try to fill it. up a couple more breaks. Power's got a chance. He's going to have to take a step up from what he did last year, and last year he was incredible. We'll see. I think, I think the Cardinals are sleepers in that division. I still, I know I've said it before, I'll say it again. Don't know how they are far and away the lowest odds to win that division. It shocks me. <laughs> Bob wants some diamond action. We got one spot left there. Who's going to get that closer magic? You know what I don't get? What don't you get, Don? When people are very active on Snapchat, right, they post a lot of stuff to their story. Yep. And they're always at home. <laughs> or just doing stuff. Hey man, what are you doing for work? <laughs> and then they have like they like post them going out to eat. They post them going out at night to clubs, yep. parties. Hey man, how are you bringing in cash? What's going on? What is it you're doing? It's a great question. What do they do all day? Is that a jab at people on our coy team? No. Who does that on our coy team? <laughs> I have some people that I met in college that I have on Snap. Don't yeah. associate myself with them anymore. Yeah. Otherwise, I would ask, like, what are you doing for work? But they're, like, always posting that they're at the house. Maybe they work from home. Or just, like, eating lunch. Who knows? <laughs> or getting drunk. <laughs> so Kyler wins MVP and Diggs leads NFL in receiving yards. Back to back. Oof. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Oof. Probably disagree about the digs. One spot to go, guys. One spot in the diamond. Let's fill that up. I think he's going to be seeing <laughs> drunk right now, too. a heck of a lot more <laughs> <laughs> coverage. Bob, I, I would agree with that. Najee Harris, it's really hard for a running back to get it. If Trevor Lawrence even puts up a reputable season, he's probably going to get it. But Najee Harris just... Walking right into a three down back roll is a fantastic contender. I think Najee Harris is probably going to have a similar season to James Robinson last year, but I think, and this hurts for me to say because I love my boy James, I think it's probably going to be a little bit better. I think Najee is a superstar this year. Yep. 
Could who's, be a fantasy league winner. Who's filling it out? Who's filling up that, that diamond? Who's going to do it? One more spot. Who's going to do it? Who's taking that closer, Magic? I want it. Trey Lance needs to start to, to win that award, Steve. Seems like every day Shanahan no. gets, gets closer and closer to uh, admitting that he probably will start. This is kind of breaking news. What's that? ESPN just posted. Okay. Lionel Messi will not re-sign with Barcelona. I thought he just signed that massive I, deal. I thought it was a huge deal. I thought it was like the highest deal in sports history. Maybe it wasn't official and something fell through. Team USA will play Japan in the Olympic gold medal game. I knew it. Did Remember you? I was asking you who they were playing? Right, right. We didn't know because that game wasn't done. Checks out. Mm -hmm. Japan's a pretty big baseball country. Yeah. Let's just call up Showtime for one game. <laughs> I don't think the Angels would let that one That'd be happen. nuts. If they flew them into Japan for one game. That would be pretty If funny. they have an off day, they don't. They play today, but... All right, Don. Yeah. I, that What you just said there reminded me of this. Not that it's related at all. Yeah. Is Phillip Rivers going to play a single snap no. in the NFL this year? No. You don't think a team's going to sign him towards the end if there's a QB hurt? No. Phillip Rivers is retired. I think he's done for this year. I, uh... You can take those two. Yeah, I agree. Jake, did you do the under for first inning today? Jake does this parlay every day where he picks under one run in every single game. <laughs> every single game he parlays all of them? He, I think he does every game. He picks under one run for the first inning. Separate or all parlayed? All. <laughs> Who does that? Jake. Jake. <laughs> Have you ever hit... Not yet. I forgot there was an early game. There's uh, no way that you've ever. There's a couple of early that. games. One buck to win four thousand. That's worth it. Chain gang. <laughs> There's no way. But you have to. Like... So That's every game is. has to be under one run in the first inning. Chain gang. That's not. That's under. So you cannot score any runs. No team can score in the first inning. You could push and have it be, okay, do they, I don't know what platform you're going on, but some platforms let you, like, when you have a parlay and it pushes, it just removes those odds from that parlay. Right. That's void. Does Andrew Luck come back to the Colts? No. That would be beautiful. I think he can. I don't How think come no one's to. called him? I don't think he has any desire to. Andrew Luck to the Colts. Come on. Would you rather have Andrew Luck or Carson Wentz done? Andrew Luck. Wow. Andrew Luck today. Yeah. Then a healthy Carson Wentz. If we could get a if we get another clip in the chat. Dude, Andrew Luck one, used to be awesome. Dusty, if you're here, we need a clip. If you want to email that over to me. Dude, it would be so cool if they reached out to That would be cool. Andrew Luck. I can't lie. <laughs> I thought Messi just sounded like a $500 million guy. He's massive. Now he doesn't want to play. Who's going to close out that diamond? Let's do it. One spot to go. Not stop until someone takes it. Nobody wants that smile in their locker room. Andrew Luck? What's wrong with him? Andrew Luck is like a genius. He is very smart. Stanford. Stanford grad. I think that once we did that signing with the Colts, I was talking to... Uh, one of their offensive linemen, uh -huh. Braden Smith. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he said Andrew Luck is like a mad scientist. Which I can was, see which that. Which is cool to hear. Like, it's it's just cool. Yeah, I can see that. And that was before he retired. Yeah. And then it dropped the bomb in the preseason game against the Bears. I don't remember that. Oh, yes. After the preseason that game was against, against the Bears. That was right before the Bears. Right? No, it was, after? it was after the Bears game. He just came out he's like, yeah, I'm done. He's like, I retire. Everyone's like, <laughs> can you imagine Everyone's being, like, whoa. Can you imagine being the head coach? Yeah, I don't even know who the heck was that. Chuck back then or yeah, no? Still Chuck Pagano, yeah. Can you imagine? You're in the preseason, like that's that was like one of the games before the season started. And your star quarterback it's just like, goes in the press conference. Probably didn't tell him before, right? Or maybe if so, like an hour before. Dude, and then they had to go to Jacoby Brissett that year. <sighs> Brutal. Not a good year for the Colts. Brutal. Oh. Uh, 
You know another pretty smart quarterback in the league. I bet you know who I'm thinking of. Oh. Mr. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh. Scored, I believe, the highest ever Wonderlick score. Harvard oh, yeah. grad. Is, wait, Wonderlick? Mm-hmm. What is that? It's the test, the... I don't know if it's IQ or intelligence test that every NFL player has to take before entering the league. Oh. I think it's like... I think it's like 30 or 32 possible points. I think like Devin Hester scored like a four. <laughs> <laughs> is that the worst? <laughs> it's pretty low. I need to. Let's look up out. the lowest Wonder Week scores. Take it out right now. Um, and Ryan Fitzpatrick got one off of the. Oh, we got our closest possible. Andrew P. Let's go, Andrew. There you go, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Uh, highest Wonder League score. Pat. McNally, oh. perfect. He got a perfect score. He went to Harvard and he played primarily special teams, uh, which is weird. That's weird because he played pr professional special teams and then he was used occasionally as a wide receiver and caught five touchdowns throughout his career. Nuts! <laughs> what? How random? <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick got minus one, right? He got one below the highest score. Uh, he's certainly seen some highs and lows throughout his career, playing for eight different teams. Since being drafted by the Rams, 15 season later, Fitz Magic is still strong. It does not say his score, but oh. it's no surprise that Fitzpatrick, another Harvard product, is on the list. Who's the lowest? I gotta know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say? Frank Gore. <laughs> that would not surprise me. <laughs> Nothing against Frank Gore, but anyone willing to uh, get beat up that much for that long. <laughs> yeah. He just likes to run, man. Just likes to get hit. All right, here we go. Andrew, thanks for closing that out, man. Appreciate it very much. Yes, sir. Kevin Hester couldn't spell his name right. <laughs> well, did you hear about Derek Rose? Derek yeah. Rose needed to pass his SAT mm -hmm. to get in to the schools that he wanted to go yeah. to, he had a different person take the test for him. Derek. Come on, Hilarious. Derek. Who's that Simeon, too? He, wanted, he needed to take a, pass a test to get into Memphis. And someone else took his test. Dude, honestly, right. I'm letting that slide. If, oh. I'm, if I'm the high school, I'm like, Derek, go home. Yeah. You passed. <laughs> it's hard in high school, but yes, I 100%. agree. Um, so Pat McNally got a 50 out of 50. Brian Fitzpatrick got a 48. Vince Young scored a 6. <laughs> and Vince Young and Frank Gore scored a 6. Oh, we get it gets lower. God. We got Mr. Morris Clyborne with a 4. Okay, there's an asterisk by Morris Clyborne. He has a learning disability that he later found out about. Darren Davis also had a four with no asterisk. Let's get a box number going for this break, guys. Thank you for helping us close it out. We appreciate it very much. Little, oh, this little diamond helmet series. We oh, yeah, got three boxes left in here. 52, 54, 57. Andrew. Kirk Cousins with a two. What did, what did Kirk Cousins get? Let's find out. What do you say? What box number? I'm sorry, I missed that. 54? Dave? Uh, 54. Kirk Cousins with a 33, which would be the same exact score as... Uh, Peyton Manning. Tom Brady. Damn it. Close guess. So before we get any 33 slander in there, just keep that in mind, huh? 33 out of what? 50. <laughs> That's like... Not that good. So I think what it is, I think like a part of it, there's 50 questions and it's timed. So like, you only have like a minute per question. Ugh. Which adds a little bit of pressure. Uh, let's see what we got here. Diamond, this is our biggest and best series. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay. 
little Hall of Famer here. We have a Riddell Eclipse Speed Authentic. Two inscriptions. Nice. Nice little pull there. Offensive lineman. Little John Hanna. John Hanna. So, Hall of Famer. Probably one of the, I would guess, lower hits in the series, but still an Eclipse with two inscriptions and one of them being Hall of Fame and a 10 time All Pro inscription. That's nuts. That's amazing. John Hanna, offensive lineman, going to Brandon Fox in the AFC East for the Diamond Helmet Series. Two boxes left in that series here in the room. Got some good hits still available. We can only imagine. That's a cool-looking helmet. Very cool. I like that the signature's right on the dome, too. On the dome piece, right on the mohawk. There you go. That's what that's called. Yes, sir. For reference for everybody, the average Wonderlick score is 20 out of 50. So, yeah, I would say 30. Anything above 30 is a good score. What did Jamarcus Russell get? I just saw a TikTok about him last night about that DVD thing that he did. I love that. Clips. That's ins How can you do that? The clip's so good. I want to know what Dwayne Haskins is. Jamarcus Russell got a 24. Former 10-time All-Pro, current cattle rancher. Yeah, cattle, cattle rancher, John Hanna. Can we take the test? No way. Can we? I would take it right now. I would take it. I'm looking it up. Dave, what did Lamar Jackson get? Matt wants to know. We find out. Free Wonderlick practice test. 50 questions, Ooh. 12 minutes. Ooh. I'm trying it. Lamar, Lamar hit a mean 13. Oh. Where are you doing it? It's on beatthewonderlick.com. Got it. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for us today here at UA Live Breaks. Thanks for helping us fill up that platinum helmet, that diamond helmet. Appreciate that very much. Guys, hope you have a nice rest of your day. Yeah. Have a good day. Taking the Wonderlick test. Oh, whoa, 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 Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. We gotta do our UA cash. We almost didn't give away any UA cash today. <sighs> Would have been a crime. All right. I Jake. got those names pulled over for you. Jake, hang on for one more second. You are in our in our drawing Ooh. for UA cash. Yes, sir. Do you want to help me? Yeah, here it goes. You got it? Yo, where's that drawing at? Is it over? All the way at the end. Orange. You got it. All right, here we go. So this is everybody that... Dude, that thing is destroying the table. Hate that. All right, so this is everybody that bought into a batter-up spot for today. You are entered into a top spot break for some UA cash. We're going to we're gonna take the names. We're going to randomize the names first, and then we'll let you pick the number you want to start up for the wheel. We'll give it a spin, and then that's how much UA cash is credited to your account. We got a lot of people in this one today. Dude, people were loving the baseball mixer. Love right? it. And it's also a 10-spot break, which is cool. Yeah. All right, everybody's name is in there. Here we go. 25 names in this one. So we had two breaks, five persons. Yes, sir. Three, four, five, six, seven. And our top spot winner of the UA Cash is Tim Pillay. There we go, Tim. Tim has been... Red hot. Just red on fire, this guy. Can't miss. All right, Tim, you know the rules. Tim, let me know what number you'd like to start at, my man. Let us know what number. We'll give you a couple minutes there. If uh, if we don't hear from you, if you're not in the chat, we will uh, just start at zero. Start or at one, one, excuse me. All right. Tim, congrats on the UA cash. There you go, buddy. What did Tim get last time? Does he the guy who got one? <laughs> I'm not sure. All I know is that I've been spinning some absolute he, gas. He got one. <laughs> he, he got one on the dice roll. Oh, well, no, Tim, I spun on. I spun a one hundred yesterday. So I'll see. Uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Was that yesterday a hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Danny Dime. Danny Cash, hundred piece. I don't know if he's in the chat. He would probably comment already. Yeah. We may have to just start it at one. I can start it at one here. Let me zoom in. Get the camera going. 
Someone's gonna win free money right now. In UA live break spots. You can use UA cash to get anything, by the way. That is true. All right, here we go. Let's do it, Daver. Ooh. What? I just look at Devin Hester's Wonderlick score. He got an 18. AJ Green, a mean 10. All right, do it. All right, Tim. Here do we go. Cool. You ain't cash. Good spin. Here we go. Good spin. Looks decent. All right, there All we righty. go. 67 dollars in UA cash. There you go, Tim. Tim, congrats, my man. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Tim Filet secure $67 UA cash. We will see you guys later. We have, uh, we have Garrett and Matt Bohannon tonight. Thank you, Jake, for that input. That's perfect. Bob, um, Daniel Jones hit a 37. Smart guy. Very smart guy. Ivy League guy. Duke guy. Guys, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later, guys. Have